Caroline, feedback, feedback in Bromley today? Well, it was really good actually being in Bromley because, you know, Bromley's a place where we've got to work to get some votes back for Labour and we understand that. And it was good to have our shadow cabinet there, but importantly to be out on the streets leafleting and knocking on doors. And, you know, part of connecting back with the public and winning their support is, you know, maintaining that relationship. And you can't beat meeting people in person and in their communities, in their homes, but also, you know, when you're out on the doorstep, like we're here today in Thurrock to do as well. It, I was about to say, does the budget? I know news travels so quickly. The yeah. budget seems like a long, almost a long time yeah, ago. Well, but that'd be incorrect, <laughs> wouldn't it? Well, a week's a long time in politics, isn't it? And I don't think this, this coalition government, led by the Tories, uh, expected the headlines following the budget they did. Uh, clearly, everybody is talking about the granny tax and the raid on pensions, and you know that's come back strongly in the last week when I've been out on the doorstep in various parts of the country. Uh, but also the worry for people who are facing, you know massive increases to the cost of living, we're seeing tax credits um, uh, gone, we're seeing child people, some people on child benefit losing that. But really importantly, I think everyone expected from this budget to have something more about jobs and growth. And really, I don't think there was anyone from, anyone that, anything there for anyone to think that this is a government who's got a plan for that. We've got too many young people out of work, too many women have lost their jobs, I have to say, through cuts to public services. Uh, we've got to you know, get back on the right track to deal with a deficit and you've got to have a plan for jobs and growth to do that. Do you think you mentioned the plan for jobs and growth and the five point plan, do you think you're getting that message across? Well I think what's certainly coming across is a worry from the public about just how fast the government has chosen to go to get the deficit down and, and don't get me wrong, you know, myself, Labour Party members in Thurrock, Polly Billington, we all recognise that we have got to get the deficit down but if you go too far too fast then the danger is you leave us where we are now which is with rising unemployment, uh, businesses um, you know collapsing and we're just not seeing the sort of move in terms of the public sector private sector growth that this government promised and that is very worrying. I mean look at America I mean you know they had a stimulus plan and they're seeing their growth rate going back to where it was before the recession hit. We're nowhere near that and that should be worrying for all of us. We're outside a, a school today and as we said about five years ago we met at Gateway Academy it was yeah. just a shell. Um, the academy system seems to be taken up a stage further by the coalition. In fact, they want, I think, basically here in Thurrock, they want total uh, uh, to take away from the LEA totally and, and for everything to be academies. Is that, would you welcome that? Look, first and foremost, you know, Labour has stood for improving standards in our schools. That's why under the Labour government we supported academy schools, particularly in those schools that weren't doing as well as we felt they should. And I'm really pleased to hear from yourself, actually, today that the Gateway Academy has its results have just improved year on year so that shows that we were right to set a challenge into our education system. I think what's worrying is whether some of the attention on some of the schools that need to be brought up will be lost under GOV because every school is going to be an academy now but also to make sure that there's fairness in the way uh, schools are funded and the truth is is that you know in some areas there are bigger challenges than others and that has to be supported by meeting those needs but you know I am Polly the Labour Party here in Thurrock, you know, we stand by standards in our schools, whether that's in the primary or the secondary sector. We're all now heading towards, uh, uh, yes, in London uh, with the uh, mayor elections, but here in Thurrock with the local election made a third. What, what will you gauge, is there any mark that you would gauge as success? Well, uh, Labour's been doing pretty well, I would say, in, in Thurrock, but, you know, one thing is we're never complacent. At the moment, you know, Labour is the largest group on the council, we haven't got overall control. Of course, we'd like to change the odds in our favour, and we recognise that part Part of the way to do that is doing what we're doing today, which is out on the doorstep, meeting people. In some ways, actually getting across some of our messages that somehow isn't always something that we get through on the traditional media. Uh, we have got some ideas about how we could get this country back on track. In the budget, for example, we said we should repeat the bank bonus tax, and that would have raised you know, substantial money to fund jobs for young people, but building more affordable homes, and we need them in Thurrock as much as other parts of the country to do that. We said that we should actually give a national insurance holiday to small employers if they take on extra workers. And importantly, for every family in Thurrock, whether you're a, a couple with kids or a pensioner or single, we said let's reduce VAT for a year to help get people spending again and get in our economy moving. You know, that's what Labour is standing for. But importantly, we also stand by good Labour local government because, you know, that's where, you know, people's services are delivered from for the most part in our communities and where local government can work with partnership with others in the private sector, in the voluntary sector, to make our communities strong and prosperous. And, you know, that's the message of Labour in Thurrock. Thank you very much. Thank you.